we don't know the outcome. That's the other part of the trauma for us is you sit there and you do this and you do that. And, you know, you get the heart rate or you get the uh, blood pressure fixed or, you know, you intubate and then you get to the hospital and boom, that's it. It's like watching a TV drama and cutting off in the middle of the episode right at the peak and not getting any closure. And that's something our QIC department is working on is getting us that closure in hand with CSI where, hey, you had this really, you know, traumatic call. That lady that was sitting at the table with the head bleed, you know, you intubated, you got her blood pressure and heart rate stabilized. She went to neurosurgery. They were able to relieve the aneurysm. They shunted her, blah, 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 all that other stuff that happens afterwards. And they go, hey, great job. She's, you know, got a little deficit, you know, she repeats a word twice or two. She's got some short term memory. She forgot Miss Johnson's third grade English class. It's okay. Nobody liked her anyways. <laughs> um, but getting that closure also helps process the trauma that is EMS. Right. 